Hello guys, how are you? How are you guys doing today? Today is a rainy, thundery day, so if you hear thunder or some kind of weird sound, that's exactly what it is. Today, I decided to do something a little bit different um, from what I usually do. This is, um, I forgot what size this is. This is a 15 by 30. 15 by 30 gallery wrapped canvas. Um, I'm using my basic favorite colors. Um, of course, my white with satin enamel in it. That's a two parts flow trawl to one part paint um, with satin, like I would say like two tablespoons of satin enamel and uh, a little bit of water to thin it out. This is uh, a mix that I made of uh, Golden's turquoise, uh, they low turquoise uh, fluid acrylic with um, a gold a copper and a little bit of a Arteza's electric blue pearl mixed in. This is a gloss, Art Mine's got a gloss paint with a uh, satin enamel in it. The, this one here, I'm sorry if that was loud, Deco Art. Deco art the seaside blue so like probably like a tablespoon of satin enamel in there and this is a gloss acrylic paint it's kind of thick but for what I plan on doing I think I need a little bit of a thicker paint this I just made up this color it has a let's see deco art metallics and pearl with turquoise, um, the deep turquoise, I mean, sorry, phthalo turquoise, and a little bit of Arteza's pearl turquoise. It's like a really nice shimmery turquoise color. It has a little bit of more blue than the than the turquoise, phthalo tur tur uh, turquoise. Um, this is copper, extreme sheen copper by Deco Art, which is this right here. And I just left that alone. I didn't mix anything in with it. And this is Golden's uh, Payne's Gray with a little bit of Amsterdam. The Golden Payne's Gray has more blue in it and the Amsterdam is more gray, like a straight up gray with a touch of blue. So this is um, a mixture of both because the, the fluid acrylic Golden is just a little bit, I don't know, it's just a little bit, uh, I would say, uh, thin for what I'm planning on doing. So anyways, those are the colors. I'm going to do a traveling rain pour. I know that's loud and I'm sorry, it's just I don't want to necessarily scorch my paint. I see something here. Oh, that was disgusting. Okay. It's a little something here. It's going to go off anyways because it's at the edge. So I have my regular base paint, which is um, my house paint with um, water and uh, flow trawl. Okay, so I'm gonna do a traveling ring pour. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a little white. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna Use some old paint that I have here. So how are you guys doing today? I hope you're well. I'm really enjoying this uh, rain. I see something.
I hope I got it. I saw something fall in there. I'm pretty sure I got it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's do, let's do the darker. So I'm gonna do pretty thick, levels, levels, rings, pores. <laughs> let's try, let's try this lighter. This is the only one that doesn't have shimmer. Well, actually, no, this gloss one and the, the Payne's Gray are the only ones that don't have shimmer in them. Do the dark. I hope this turns out good. If not, I can always scrape it. So that's what it looks like so far. They're pretty thick lines. I'm gonna, I'm trying to, I have something in my mind of what I want it to look like, but you know how that goes. So I'm hoping that I can get it to look like that. Did I even put that lighter one? I don't think I did. Hmm. I don't think I did. Dark. I don't think I can put any more. Who knows, this might not even turn out, so. I might have to re-pour it. At least I have enough paint. So let's see here. I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this. looks really cool oh let's see how this stretches out let's see if there's enough paint on the canvas because I'm kind of thinking that there might not be Maybe I shouldn't have put the, the layer so thick.
It looks like all the white disappeared. Huh. That is really weird. I put white in there. Where did it go? That is so strange. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, but... Let me try that. I'm sorry if this is loud. Because it... I don't want to torture it. Torture it. <laughs> That's how I paint. I torture things. Um, I don't want to torch it right now because I'm not sure if I like it. I mean, it's it's super cool, but it's really dark. And now I see like white bubbles coming up. And then if I do torch it, then, and these are looking like really solid. This doesn't really scream like I like it. I don't know. I'm thinking I might pour another one. Yeah, I think I might. This is, hmm. Yeah, I don't, hmm, no. Let's try it with a measuring cup. Let's try it with a measuring cup. What did I put? Oh, there it is. On the floor. I mean, I mean, it's pretty, but it's really dark and this is going to be even darker I don't know I'm having trouble here Hmm. I don't know if I like that. It kind of takes over that gloss one. So maybe if I put just a little bit of that one. You can see it has satin enamel in it. Hmm. It's really like breaking up here. I don't know if I like that too much. So if I do use that, it's going to be a little bit. I want to see if I could try something else. try something else. I really love that phthalo turquoise. Just a little bit of that. I mean a tiny bit. Maybe some of this. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm trying to think here.
felt that. Okay, let's see how this works. We will see. Let's see what happens here. It's interesting, that's for sure. Let's change the look for real. Okay, let's. Of course, you're really quick just to see the cup looks so cool. I mean, why can't the canvas look like the cup? I'm sorry you can't see. Let me take a break. <laughs> that was getting real heavy. Napkin. <sighs> Let's see here. Let me see. That looks pretty cool. I kind of like that. It almost looks like a spine, but I actually really like it because it's, I like that. Very interesting. Let me see if there's a lot of paint on the canvas.
pretty dope. I'm gonna have to see here what I'm gonna do with this corner. Let's see if I can, because the weight of the paint is already kind of there. Let me see if I can push that off right here. This video is probably forever. I'm so sorry, guys. I kind of like the the wave to it that it's not straight. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it out a little bit more this way. And from the way that the paint is moving, there's a perfect amount of paint here. Not too much, not too little. I just want to stretch this out just a little bit more. I'm gonna let the paint flow on the side a little bit more so then I can stretch it back to the middle. Actually, I think I might wanna stretch it just a little bit more. I kinda of don't like that thing there. It's just like this white, oh, it's something in there, no wonder. Try to stay out of the way. Move this back. Wow, that's pretty interesting. I mean, I really wish that that little mishap didn't happen, but such is life. But other than that, I think it's pretty cool. Let's torch it and see what's going on here. I don't think that I really necessarily need to do anything to the edges because I
is really pretty. I am so devastated about that. I want to see if I can do something about that. That's... Uh, There's still quite a bit of paint on there. Okay. How long is this? Oh my goodness. 26 minutes. So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> Back to the other way one more time and then we're done. I promise. So sorry guys. I think I'm going to do one last, should I do it this way or I think I'm going to go this way. Wow, this is really cool. It, um, that looks really cool. Okay, one last time this way, and then we're done, I promise. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I think I'm going to call this Spinal Tap. That's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Got a good amount of paint off of there. Very cool. Okay, this came out cool. I like it. I'm not really digging that, but I guess I could pour a little bit in this. Oh yeah, I got way more than enough in here.
pretty cool. Okay, that's good enough for me. It should dry just fine there. I took off way a good amount of paint off there. This is really interesting. I'm so sorry it took so long. It happens, I guess. 31 minutes, I apologize. It's really shimmery and these cells are super cool. They're like, they have like different colors and layers in them. Look at how those look, they're like copper, blue, gray, white. Don't look at that mess. See, that's that's what I was, I was messing with. It is what it is. You can't win them all. But the rest of it is super cool. It does look like a spine, and then these things look 3D here that are along the spine on both sides, that's super cool. Really cool, I like that. It's definitely different. So, I mean, if you put it like that, it doesn't necessarily look like a spine, but if you hang it like that, it kinda does. Well, I hope you guys liked it. Sorry it took so long. I hope you guys have a good day and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.